Cross River State is a state in the South South Geographical Zone of Nigeria. The state is known as the People's Paradise and remains one of the best states in Nigeria you can visit to enjoy tourism. Unfortunately, most of its potential have been neglected by the present government in place. Cross River State is home to one of the most lovely waterfalls in Nigeria. It is also home to one of the best resort and magical weather. It is home to one of the remotest and adventurous cabin and wildlife resorts in Nigeria. Some of the remaining virgin rainforests in Nigeria are also found in Cross River State. Probably what most people know Cross River State is its amazing world-class carnival that holds in its capital city, Calabar, every year. So I'm told that this year, December 2022, that the carnival is happening. So if you really like to go and experience one of the biggest street carnivals in Africa, you should try and visit Calabar. And by the way, Calabar is one of the also one of the safest places in Nigeria. So you don't have to worry about security, it's very safe, and you'll be able to enjoy the street carnival. Okay, so behind me is one of the most popular roundabout that they have in Calabar. This place is called Miss Lesso Randabar. So Miss Lesso is a very popular person in Calabar because she was instrumental to the stopping of twins killing in this town and generally in Nigeria. So many years ago in Nigeria, when people get gave birth to twins, twins used to be killed. But the, through the coming of Miss Lesso, which is a missionary, she was able to put an end to that. So this place was built, her statue was built and was dedicated to her, you know, for the role that she played. If you are a twin that was born in those days, probably would have been killed because people thought that giving birth to, to twins was something negative but her coming actually brought an end to that so yeah and from here if you go down a little bit further you get to University of Calabar which is also one of the most popular universities that they have in this in Cross River State as well as in Nigeria all right so let's continue the tour so you can see more places about Cross River State at this point if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet make sure you subscribe so you get to see our content when they drop so this is one of the places that people actually come in Calabar to actually chill out and relax. This area actually is called Hope Wardell, like this roundabout there, it's called Hope Wardell. And all of this area is very nice greenery, it's places that people actually come to chill out and to hang out and to have picnics, take pictures and enjoy their evening when they're in Calabar. So if you get a chance to visit Calabar, this is one place you can come. The greenery here is absolutely beautiful and amazing and just this is afternoon but i can assure you if you come here in the evening it looks even more beautiful it's also very close to the marina resort just uh by the side so this is the marina resort okay. itself wow it looks very beautiful it was explicit more than beautiful wow. we, this is where we used to have the museum okay the museum used to be here yeah I don't know if it's still functioning, if they've closed down. Slave trade history museum. Also, the anchor they used to grab the ship. Okay. We used to grab people. For the slave, slave trade. trade. Oh, yes. I see. This is Calabar. Oh, right, Calabar. Oh, I see. Beautiful. Basically, this is the waterfront and this is how the marina looks like. So this is the marina waterfront and over there, I think it's called Cala Vegas also over there. So this is where actually boats can take you from here to that place. Okay. And you can go there, enjoy yourself and all of that. And when you're done, the boat can basically bring you back. All right. So besides just uh, coming to the marina resort and enjoying, you can actually go to the other extreme to actually enjoy yourself. Okay. So this is how the marina uh waterfront looks like right now okay as many of you already know when this place was built earlier it used to be more exquisite it used to be more beautiful and more functional but uh, over the years it seems like uh, the place has been a little bit abandoned so it's not functioning at its full capacity as of today so hopefully when the new government comes in they can probably revive this place back to its original glory
Okay, so this is like a game now. This is where they actually play games. If you prefer to play games, you can play games here. Over there, you have the cinema right there, and also you have the museum on the other end. So right over there at my extreme, there's a filling station over there. So basically, I think the boats that are going can actually refill their boat engine over there. All right, unfortunately, there is no boat to take us there. And, uh, but I'm sure probably maybe next time we can actually check it out. So on this side of the section of the resort is where you have the cinema. So here is actually the, where they have the cinema. So when this place was newly built, people come here to watch movie and all of that. But as it stands right now, it's not really functioning uh, because of maintenance issues and other issues around this whole place. So if you are looking forward to actually watch a movie, this is not the place to come because this is not functioning as a stand. But I also wonder where can one watch movie in this town because I've asked my friend here who have been guiding me and it seems like there is no place. For now. No For place. now. Okay. So please, let the new government that is coming in, please give us a place where we can watch movie. So right here you have the... Yeah. Right here you have the Slave Trade History Museum. Crossover State also played a major role in the slave trade export in Nigeria. Cross River State also have a common boundary with Cameroon. In fact, you can take a walk from Ecom in Cross River State into Cameroon. This route is one of the places that smugglers use to smuggle things into Nigeria. So this is the field where the first food was played in Africa. in Africa. This field? Yes. Wow. In Africa? In Africa. <laughs> Are you sure that story is... Uh... Confirmed. It was the first place they played football. Ever. Wow. Wow. And this is the Reverend Hope. Hope ah, Mastern Wada. Oh. Reverend Hope Wada was an Irish medical missionary in Calabar, Nigeria, who was instrumental to the spreading of Christianity in Calabar, and also was instrumental to the establishment of Western education to the people. The school, which is named after him, is one of the oldest missionary schools in Nigeria, which also produced some of Nigeria's illustrious sons and daughters, such as Dr. Nnamdi Azikiwe. Nigerians first president. So what I really find interesting is that this place is well maintained and it looks very, very serene. Despite having been here for 125 years, it still looks very serene, very, very beautiful. In fact, let's go closer. You can see how the wall actually look at, looks like. I guess probably this is like the oldest school. Yes. In Nigeria. Yes. <laughs> One of the holders, you know, King's College is claiming that they want. Okay, the King's College are claiming against these ones. Yes. Okay, <laughs> look at this. This was built AD 1957. So, see the year and see the way the block looks like and see how solid it still looks like. Okay, and look at the architectural design, see how beautiful it looks like, both up and down. So, I mean, that's just what I really like about this whole place. It looks very, very beautiful. Back in the years, actually, most of the big schools were actually run by the churches, either Presbyterian Church, Anglican Church, and all of that. But at, at some point, or Catholic, at some point, you know, the government took over the schools. But some other region and some other states have actually given back, like in Anambra, actually given back some of the schools back to the churches and the mission because it seems like they ran it even much better than the government around the school. Like, if you take a look at the school, okay, and this place has been in a system more than 100 years, yet, Look at the walls, look at the structure, look at the environment. It looks very serene because this place right now is being run by the Presbyterian Church. All right. For those of you who have watched my Ahonfia film, I told you that Presbyterian is like the church of Ahonfia. Most people that are from that eastern part, that's church, they actually go to a lot. All right. So they are actually running this place and, you know, maintaining this place. This place looks extremely beautiful. So right now, we are actually taking a walk to the cultural center, which is just right behind me. So right there. Is a cultural center, so that's the entrance. So if you want to like enjoy cultural troops, want to enjoy like cultural dances. This is like the place you can actually come to enjoy that. We are currently at the Calabar Mall. This is where we are right now. This place is called Calabar Mall, and this is like the biggest mall that they have in Calabar. So when you come to Calabar, this is where most people come to buy things and all of that. Thank you. 